going into my admissions interview at Cambridge or Oxford, having achieved a low score in the Timmy one. Do I stand any chance? I think I'm already doomed, even if I do okay at the interview. I got this question several times recently. I have good news and bad news for you. Bad news first. Yes, if you keep thinking that, you are doomed. You will most likely fail, I'm afraid, but not because of your low Timmy score. You will fail because of your pessimistic attitude and your negative outlook on your own chances. If even you won't believe in yourself, why do you think anyone else will? Admissions here is an extremely selective process, perhaps the hardest you've been through in your life so far. You have to give it your best to stand any chance. And understand this, subconsciously, you can't give it your best if something in the back of your mind tells you you've already lost it because of your low score in the Timiwa. You will do poorly at interview if you go in thinking of yourself as a loser. And even if by some mistake you still got in with that attitude, you would go through three terrible years of university during which you would keep on humiliating yourself, thinking that everyone else is much better than you, thinking that you don't deserve to be there and generally having a miserable time. That's not to say that positive thinking by itself will get you admitted for free without a lot of hard work. But if you think of yourself as a loser, you will become one. Now for the good news. If you stop overthinking, if you shut up that idiotic, pessimistic chattering inside your head, once there's silence up there, you will finally get to hear what the actual experts think about you. And what's it? Think about it rationally. A bunch of admissions officers, people like me, and an admissions tutor for your college, someone above me, looked at your application paperwork, including school results, including Olympic medals if you got any, and so forth, and also including your poor Timua score, and yet decided that there is some likelihood that you might be of the right caliber for us, and that we should check this out by calling you for interview. Interviews are not cheap for us. They involve a lot of work from our side, a lot of logistics, a lot of time from experienced specialist people of whom we don't have very many and who cannot be replaced by substitutes. And all our interviews have to be completed within a few days because of various cascading meetings and deadlines after that. So it's a complex machine and the available slots are quite limited. Believe me, we don't waste time interviewing a candidate just for the fun of it, unless we genuinely believe we could offer them a place. Let me say this again. We invited you for interview after we saw the low Timua score you achieved. We were not put off by that. If we chose to invest one of our precious interview slots on you, it's because some other hint made us think that you did stand the chance of demonstrating through your interview that yes, you do have what it takes to thrive here. We, the ones who have interviewed and handpicked thousands of other candidates over the years from all backgrounds and all countries in the world, so we have a bit of experience interpreting those hints, imperfect though they are, we believed that you had the potential to impress us despite us having witnessed your low Timio score. It's not the end of the world. If we had not genuinely thought that, we would not have called you for interview. Now it's up to you. According to us, you have the potential. Believe you can do it and give the interview your best. There is some luck in the process, as indeed there is at any stage in life, but the people who consistently get lucky are always the ones who prepare the ground and ultimately attracted and made their own luck. Be one of those. There are, indeed, fewer places on offer than there are people called for interview. So it is simple arithmetic, I'm afraid, that not everyone who is interviewed will be offered a place, even if your interview goes well in absolute terms. Because in relative terms, there might be other candidates in your same batch who were even stronger than that, and they would take the few available places ahead of yours. If this happens to you, it doesn't mean you're bad. It doesn't mean you're a failure. What you must not forget is that we, in our qualified opinion, believed you have the potential, even before any of us met you at interview. So make the most of that potential, which you still have regardless, whether you get an offer from us or not. It's your talent, it's your life, and it's up to you to spend it wisely. And there are many more places than just Cambridge where you will be able to spend your good talents profitably and be successful in life, whatever successful means for you. I did not do my undergraduate degree here. I didn't even apply. Did I lose the only chance of my life? Well, go figure. Obviously, it didn't stop me becoming a full professor in computer science at Cambridge eventually. There are many paths to reach your ultimate goal, so long as you believe in yourself, invest in yourself, put in the hard work, and spend your talents wisely. Go for it. By the way, say Snow Leopard in a comment if you were here till the end. I'm always happy to hear from people who are here till the end. And thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you could buy from it. And if you're going for interview, then do your best.
All my tips in this related video are still valid.